Hey guys, Greg here, coming to you with another episode of Greg's Bonsai, and uh, today we're going to be going way back to when I first started the channel. This is uh, Pear Tree A, and I was trying to go through, um, you know, with spring here um, and and everything, and, and not a whole lot of leaves coming on here. I've been trying to get videos of the trees with their shape without most of their leaves on. Now this pear here, I actually went back in the archives. I did an intro video on this guy back in July, August of 23. And uh, apparently I never made <laughs> an update video of this guy. I, I don't know why. Probably because not much changed with it during the season. But uh, it's still in the same pot that I had with the little drip cup underneath of it. And uh, I've never really had any problems with this guy. So I figured we're here, we're in um, we're in April of 24. So let's do an update on this. And uh, just so for my records, and so you guys can kind of see what the shape of this guy is looking like after almost a year worth of growth. And uh, like I said, I did find this guy just happenstance on the property uh, that I live on and ended up putting it in, the, in a pot. Now, I, I transplanted it into this pot, like I said in my last video, uh, after it got a little bigger and a little sturdier. But man, once I put him in here, this thing really shot up. And I think it's, I mean, it's definitely taller than the last time I did a video. And... Um, I have to kind of, <laughs> I feel bad. I come back all the way and you can kind of see my little light that I use just to kind of highlight uh, the plants here in the basement. But uh, just kind of looking at the structure, a lot of it, you know, has stayed the same from the last video. But now that there's not any leaves really on here, we can really get in and see what the shape is uh, for the spring going into summer and, and for this year. Um, still has, you know, the trunk is actually thickening up, which is great to see. Very sturdy now down here. Not a lot of movement. This uh, little branch down here is still here, and we can see it's already starting to grow some nice sized leaves uh, down below. And that's really what I'm noticing on this as well, is that if you look at the branches, it's growing leaves at every end you know except at the top but it does look like we're going to have let's see if i can focus on here it, leaves are starting to come up at the very tippy top of this now as well so this guy is definitely waking up okay so that's one thing i'm noticing with this and i kind of noticed this with my other pair that it seems to bud at the ends first and just kind of working its way through. And uh, I'm interested to see, you know, we have this little branch down below from last year. So we got this growing here. We've got this little branch up here that's come out last year. And it was tiny. We'll see that thicken up this year and start to grow out. Kind of interested to see how that goes. A little knob kind of growing up in here as well, which we're going to let that go for the year. I kind of want to see this grow for two years before I start pruning and, and getting rid of some of the shape. I kind of really like this branch here, okay? I like the sweep that it's bringing up. The um, eventuality I'm seeing is this whole top will just get trimmed off and we will we will end up with something down here doing its shaping um but we'll, we'll see how things go next year at this time because i'll be doing pruning you know after this season is over i'm guessing um and then in the back here we've got another branch kind of just going straight out straight out to the left here and again we've got leaves coming out here now i have this guy in my garage um, over the winter and I've noticed that the guys uh, the the plants growing or kind of just playing dormant in the garage are starting to really come in now and I've started to move 
some of my other plants that I had in my shed, the taller ones, uh, the pears, the apples, and, uh, and the like, my big maples, into the garage so they can start to kind of get warmed up. And uh, I've noticed that ever since I did that, that these guys are really starting to uh, push those buds. And you don't really see, at least, I'm not really sure, you can kind of see down here, let me see if I can zoom in. You can kind of see some budding along the line here, okay? But most of this is really looking like long and they, they go from like that bud, that really small bud to a really long leaf in no time. Like I'm talking in the span of the week here, this whole thing, the whole trunk line up was buds. And within that week, we are now looking at leaves starting to come out. I would imagine by next week, we're gonna start seeing it pop out just like this and uh, and see these guys come out. It's kind of interesting to see these guys grow the, the leaves because you can kind of see over here different stages in the leaf cycle, okay? These guys have been out for a little bit now, but new leaf kind of curl, comes out curled. So they look like, I always say they look like alien tentacles coming out because they, they come out like that and then they kind of furl, you know, like curl up or curl out rather. And then they, it kind of turns into that. And then the next day, boom, you got a leaf. It, it's really crazy. Even back here, we've got like it curling in like that. It's going to come all the way out. And I've got a grow light in the, uh, in the garage. that kind of helps with that. The weather where I'm at right now has been like, we're, we're thankfully no longer in freezing temperatures at night, but it gets pretty close. It, it's in the upper thirties, mid to upper thirties right now. And then during the day we're in the fifties. So it's almost good enough to, uh, be put outside. And, and during a couple warmer days, I did actually have these guys outside just to get that sun and to, to get that warmth. But, um, we're just not there yet. And, and this past week has been crazy. We've had rain for like three or four days in a row. These guys would have hated it. But uh, this is the basic structure of uh, just so that you guys could see it. And so I can kind of record it just so I can remember what this guy looked like as it starts year number two out in the garden. And we're really out on the back patio once it's time. But. Um, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. I really like, it's really cool too to see a tree that has nothing on it, look almost like it's dead. And then all of a sudden it starts waking up and gets like this nice green color on it. And like, you know that life is there still. I, I've noticed that with a couple of my trees, like especially my apples, but these fruit trees are pretty much the same in that respect. You'll just start seeing it kind of turn green and you're like, oh wow, this is awesome. It's actually growing. And you see that life force just kind of wake up in this. It's like from dormancy to life. It's really awesome to see and watch on a daily basis, just kind of it like spread across the tree. And then I'm really interested to see how we're going to be faring here at the top. And if, you know, we're going to grow here or if it's going to come out of this bud and, and grow up from there, because you can kind of see, this is not exactly an even, <laughs> an even growth. It gets kind of crooked up here towards the top. But this is my, uh, my pear tree. Kind of seeing how it goes. Seeing, I, I'm interested to see how many years it will take for it to actually flower in the spring. Um, the one across the street, very old, 50, 60 years old. It's, it's flowering already. It's been flowering for a week or so now before Easter. But uh, we'll see how long it takes. I didn't really research that here. So I'm not sure how long it takes a pear tree like this to, uh, to start flowering. But it'd be kind of cool to see once we hit spring, when this guy gets a little bit more, more mature in a few more years, to start seeing this guy flowering. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is my uh, pear tree. 
We haven't seen this guy for a while. Pretty much the same in respect to uh, what it looked like a year ago, except it's just getting bigger, fuller, stronger, and thicker, okay? Still very, you know, springy, but not like it was when I did my last video where you could kind of just bend it and it would just come right back into shape. Now, if I do that, it, it might not come back fully like it used to. So, uh, if you liked what you saw, please make sure to hit that like button. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm there. Just kind of gets my, uh, my bonsai journey and my journal of plants out there for uh, people to watch. Um, so far, the spring series here has been well watched i think and well liked if you have any comments please make sure to put them down below if you have any questions about pear trees uh let me know i could just kind of give you some guidance of what i've seen so far from the the trees that i have growing the ones that i haven't even really shown yet i, mean, I have so many <laughs> i my my wife is i think starting to think i'm going crazy i've got over 50 trees now and growing since i now have uh, a couple more that I'm planting in uh, from seeds. Because, yes, I'm that crazy guy that will grow trees from seeds. But uh, if you are, too, let me know down below. Because, uh, you know, we got to unite. Uh, I do love talking to you guys. Love building the community. And uh, if you really liked what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, make sure to hit that bell next to it. That way, as I bring out new videos, you just kind of get notifications about it. So until next time, guys, this is Greg. I'm Greg's Bonsai. Signing off. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.